Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the procession of the graduates of the Netherlands Maritime University College, please rise. Tuan Tuan dan Puan Puan, mengumumkan perarakan masuk para graduan NMUC. Hadirin di Nisa Perkiri. the academic procession.
announcing the arrival of the grand procession. All guests, please remain standing. Mengumumkan ketibaan perarakan utama. Hadirin diminta untuk terus berdiri. Sebagai makluman kepada para hadirin, perarakan utama ini terdiri daripada yang berbahagia Datuk Kapten Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz, pembawa cokmar, ahli lembaga pengarah, para penaja anugerah pelajar dan ahli kepimpinan tertinggi NMUC. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for Johor State Anthem and the Garak. Hadirin yang dihormati, anda diminta untuk terus berdiri bagi menyanyikan lagu rasmi negeri Johor serta lagu kebangsaan.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Hadirin, dipersilakan duduk. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Greetings and good afternoon. Our guest of honor, yang berbahagia, Datuk Captain Rahim Abdul Aziz, yang berbahagia, Professor Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob, the Executive Chairman of the Netherlands Maritime University College, the Board of Directors. Yang berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mat Nur Hayati Tahir, the Chief Executive of NMUC, Senate Councils, Academicians, Distinguished Guests, Parents of Graduating Students, Graduating Students, Ladies and Gentlemen. Welcome to the 7th Netherlands Maritime University College Convocation Ceremony. Selamat datang ke Majlis Convocation NMUC yang ketujuh. To grace this ceremony, we would like to invite Mr. Hazman Izzuddin Madrizam to recite the prayer. Demi memberkati acara, Majlis dengan segala hormatnya menjemput Encik Hazman Izzuddin Mak Rizam untuk membacakan doa. Dipersilakan. Ila hadratin Nabi Mustafa Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala alihi wa ashabihi shay'udillahu mulfatihah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم أنت السلام ومنك السلام وإليك يعود السلام فهينا ربنا بالسلام يا سلام سلمنا أجمعين وجعلنا من عبادك الصالحين O oh Allah, we beg thee of all good things which pertains to this day and days hereafter, and seek your protection from all evil which pertains to this day and days hereafter. O oh Allah, you are peace, and all peace is from you, and all peace returns to you. O oh Master of power and glory, in conjunction with the seventh convocation ceremony of the Netherlands Maritime University College, guide us among those whom you guide. Grant us health and pardon, those whom you grant health and pardon. Ya Allah, Ya Shakur, we ask you for the best supplication and the best success and the best deed and the best reward. Shower our graduates with continuous blessings and guidance in the performance of their duties and responsibilities. Open up their hearts so that they become excellent citizens who are always willing to face obstacles and challenges in upholding their religion, people, and beloved country. O oh Allah, we pray for an everlasting prosperity and stability for the world, today and for many generations to come. Make our graduates an outstanding, exemplary, and respected citizens and professionals of the country. O oh Allah, grant us and our graduates the strength, courage, and patience to propel an MUC to become an excellent, glorious and distinctive institution of higher learning. Kami memohon kepadamu agar graduan kami ini sentiasa diberi petunjuk dan hidayah dalam melaksanakan tugas dan tanggungjawab yang telah diamanahkan. Bukakanlah pintu hati mereka untuk menjadi insan yang cemerlang, sentiasa sanggup menghadapi rintangan dan cabaran dalam menjana dan memartabatkan agama, bangsa dan dunia sejagat yang tercinta. Ya Allah, kekalkanlah kesejahteraan dan kestabilan negara kami ini untuk generasi hari ini dan yang akan datang. Kurniakanlah kepada kami dan graduan kami ini keseluruhannya, kekuatan, keberanian dan kesabaran yang unggul. Demi menjana dan memartabatkan NMUC, 
agar menjadi sebuah institusi pengajian tinggi yang cemerlang, gemilang dan terbilang. Amin ya Rabbal Alamin. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanah wa fil akhirati hasanah wa kina azab al-nar. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wa alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Thank you, Mr. Hazman Izzuddin Mat Rizam. Terima kasih, Encik Hazman Izzuddin Mat Rizam. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite the Chief Executive of the Netherlands Maritime University College, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mat Nur Hayati Tahir, to declare the seventh and MUC Convocation Ceremony open and to confer the degree and diplomas to the graduates. Please welcome. Hadirin yang dihormati, Majlis dengan segala hormatnya menjemput yang berbahagia Prof. Dr. Mat Nur Hayati Tahir, Ketua Eksekutif NMUC untuk mengisytiharkan pembukaan Majlis Convocation NMUC yang ketujuh. Dipersilakan. It is my honor to declare open the 7th Netherlands Maritime University College Convocation Ceremony and to confer the diploma to the graduates of Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Matnor Hayati Tahir. Terima kasih, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Matnor Hayati Tahir. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the Senior Advisor of the Netherlands Maritime University College, who is currently a professor at Sharjah Maritime Academy. United Arab Emirates, Professor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos to deliver his speech. Hadirin sekalian, majlis ingin menjemput penasihat kanan NMUC, Professor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos yang juga merupakan seorang profesor di Akademi Maritim Syarjah, Emiriah Arab Bersatu untuk menyampaikan ucapan. Dipersilakan. Assalamualaikum. Dato Captain Razali Jacob, founder and executive chairman of Netherlands Maritime University College. The Netherlands Maritime University College Board of Directors, Professor Dr. Mat Noor Kayati Tahir, President and Chief Executive of the Netherlands Maritime University College. Distinguished guests, respected parents, and graduates. The Greeks. Uh, have been a maritime nation since antiquity as the mountainous landscape of the mainland and the limited farming the limited farming area and the extended coastline of Greece led people to shipping. The geographical position of the region and the crossroad of ancient sea lanes in the eastern Mediterranean, the multiplicity of islands and the proximity to other advanced civilization, helped shape the maritime nature of the Greek nations at an early stage. Greece is a maritime nation by tradition, as shipping is arguably the oldest form of occupation of Greece and has been a key element of Greek economic activity since ancient times. Today, shipping of the country is, is the most important industry employing about 392,000 people, 14% of the workforce. In 2018, the Greek merchant navy controlled the world's largest merchant fleet in terms of tonnage with a total debt weight of 835 million tons 
and a fleet of 5,700 Greek-owned vessels according to Lloyd's list. Civilization and cultures can be saved by the maritime system. It includes activities like exploration, trade and natural conflicts that have had a long-lasting effect on culture and across the world. The global maritime industry size was valued in 173.4 United billion United States in 2022, and it is poised to grow in to 194.28 billion United States dollars by 2030. Maritime shipping is responsible for transporting 90% of the world's trade in goods. Maritime infrastructure underpins the global economy and the supply chain, including food and healthcare that life depends upon. Ports play a crucial role in the maritime systems and the communities that connect to it, providing critical linkage between shipping routes and road and rail connections on land. Ports are failing multiple transformations towards low carbon, smart logistics that act in harmony with the environment, delivering increased value of communities. The world around is changing faster than ever and the speed of change is not going to slow down. The maritime industry is witnessing more and more ports adjusting efficient changes from the use of blockchain technology in shipping to the autonomous vessel implementation. The maritime sector may continue to adopt cutting-edge digital technologies as such, Internet of Things sensors, to boost safety, monitor ships' performance, and increase operational effectiveness. Global trends in the industry is also assisting in more advanced industry enhancement. Shipping practices, for instance, have changed as a result of the expansion of e-commerce with an emphasis on quicker and more dependable delivery. Supply chain operation has been really evaluated where more flexible and effect effective transportation option has been created. Upon navigation aspects, satellite navigation systems are upgraded and increase the precision and compatibility of ship positioning and navigation, resulting in a safer and more effective maritime traffic. Hence, more employment is requirement than before, especially for those with fresh skill sets. Thus, the maritime sector and its education institution must be attentive in ensuring that graduates have the skills necessary for further enhance an industry that serves as the backbone of the global trade. NMUC scholars came into the picture where the maritime industry requires your proficiency on bin market rate. I'm glad to note that our alumni are starting to bring positive influence both domestically and internationally. The lecturers exchange and visiting programs with the University of the Aegean in Greece have also been valuable. Today, we gather here with not only to celebrate your accomplishment, but to kindle the ambition that burns with each one of you. Years of greed, resolve, and unpleasing devotion have a culminated in this convocation. Let's not lose sight of the, of the fact that this is just the start of a trip that might lead you to the pinnacles of success on the international stage as we stand at the beginning of a new chapter. I implore you to keep in mind that binaries are merely points on the map and 
that language is a bridge to understanding as your venture out, outside these gates. Accept, var accept variation because it helps us to actually broaden our, horiz our horizons. As you move outside of your comfort zone, what was once the unknown and frightening becomes right now normal. Your contribution, on your innovation, and your leadership are eagerly awaited by the world. The global realm is calling and is eager to receive your, your excited originality. Your fellow graduates and lecturers have contributed significantly to, an, to the amazing people that we have become. Take the teaching and have to, that have to, they have taught in your heart and use them as your compass as you navigate the international last, last landscape. Keep in mind that success is not just determined by prices and prizes, it is also determined by the difference you make in the lives on, of the others. It is in the people you affect, the neighborhoods you improve, and the territory you contribute to creating the future generation. As you go forth, be bold, be audacious, and never underestimate the power that you hold to other meaningful change. You are the torque, breachers of the future, and world awaits the, brill the brilliance that you bring to it. A Greek proverb says that the society goes great when old men plant three whose say they know that they shall never sit in. Congratulations, graduates, with the same passion and tendency that led you here today, advance and dominate the global stage. We have faith in you and you look forward to your to watching your show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos. Terima kasih, Professor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos. Dear respected guests, next, let us watch the speech given by the senior advisor of NMUC, Professor Husvahan, who is not able to join us today as he is currently in the Netherlands. Dato Captain Razali Jacob, founder and executive chairman of the Netherlands Maritime University College. The Netherlands Maritime University College Board of Directors. Professor Dr. Maud Noor Hayati Tahir, President and Chief Executive of the Netherlands Maritime University College. Distinguished guests, respected parents and graduates. The Netherlands' international focus and outward orientation originate in a long and distinguished maritime history. <clears throat> the Netherlands has been a seafaring nation for over five centuries. As a small country that is situated, situated partly below sea level and has no natural resources, the Netherlands has developed a close commercial connection to rivers and seas. Throughout history, the Dutch have ventured out to discover the world and set up new lines of business. Every stage in the development of shipping, shipbuilding, global trade and maritime services has a chapter in the Netherlands maritime history. In 2010, the partnership between the Maritime Institute de Ruiter, Maritime Institute Willem Barens, <clears throat> and maritime intelligence provided a solid foundation for the growth of maritime education in the Southeast uh, Asian region. Netherlands and the European technological advancements provided a fair share 
of the revolution taking place in the maritime world. NMUC is growing to be a powerhouse of knowledge, undertaking greater challenges ahead. The international education partners had shared the latest endeavors and progress uh, with NMUC regularly. More need to be developed and executed so as to continue leading the maritime education sector in this region. Ladies and gentlemen, today the Netherlands has turned its favorable location for transshipment, accessibility, transport, trade culture and service industry into a major maritime cluster. It is characterized by its all-round suitability of high standards. More than 12,000 maritime companies create 18.5 billion euros in added value, with employment amounting some 167,000 jobs. The indirect added value represents an additional 4.3 billion euros and 90,000 jobs. The shipping industry, major ports, the world's largest dredging fleet, the largest European inland barge fleet, the third largest shipbuilding industry in the European Union in terms of numbers of ships, including a prestigious yacht building sector, offshore, fisheries, the water sports industry, shipping, fi shipping finance, legal advisors, insurers, maritime education and research, a modern Royal Navy, equipment suppliers and service industries. Together they all form one huge maritime network. In order to promote all of these maritime interests, the government has been actively supporting the development of the Dutch maritime network and the branding of its trademark Maritime by Holland. As an education partner to the Dutch institutions and a member of the Netherlands Maritime Technology, NMUC had a prospect to be exposed to the amazing opportunities. The knowledge of the maritime world is not just important, it's indeed vital. NMUC stands as a beacon of maritime education, committed to spreading this knowledge. We offer a comprehensive array of maritime related courses, fostering holistic development of the students. Today we celebrate not only the, academy, the academic achievements, but also your remarkable potential to contribute to society, shaping a better, more sustainable community. As graduates, you are stepping into the in an industry where technology and innovations are reshaping traditional practices. From the development of autonomous vessels to the utilization of data analytics to, uh, for predictive maintenance, the maritime sector is evolving rapidly. Your ability to adapt to these changes and contribute fresh perspectives will be instrumental and in shaping the future of maritime operations. Roles as maritime professional extend beyond the confines of a vessel. You will navigate the complex waters of international trade, ensuring the seamless flow of goods and resources that sustain economies worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, the maritime industry is a dynamic and inter interconnected ecosystem. It encompasses shipping companies, port authorities, logistic providers and various regulatory bodies. Collaboration and effective communication are pivotal to its smooth functioning. As graduates, you are not only expected to excel in your individual roles, but also to foster cooperation and synergy with, within this complex web of stakeholders. Your ability to build relationships and work collaborator collaboratively will contribute to the industry's growth and resilience. Vincent van Gogh, a famous Dutch painter, once said, great things are done by a series of small things brought together. 
Therefore, graduates, take immense pride in your achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite the Executive Chairman and the founder of the Netherlands Maritime University College, Jan Berbahagia, Professor Dato Captain Rosalie Jacob, to deliver his speech. Please welcome. Hadirin yang dihormati, Majlis ingin menjemput yang berbahagia Profesor Datuk Kapten Razali Yaakob, Pengerusi Eksekutif dan Pengasas NMUC untuk menyampaikan ucapan. Dipersilakan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. Salatu wassalamu ala ashrafil nabiya wa salin wa ala alihi wa sahabi ajma'in. Yang berbahagia Datuk Kapten Abdul Rahim bin Abdul Aziz of Kias of Fana, Professor of the Captain Stephen Cross, Pro Chancellor, will be watching this uh, convocation from Netherlands. Professor Dr. Muhammad Nur Hayati bin Tahir, CEO of NMUC. Professor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos, Sharjah Maritime Academy, United Arab Emirates. Dato Dr. Asharuddin Ahmad, Tibet Specialist. Dr. Muhammad Farhan bin Razali, Executive Director. Professor Gus Verhagen, Senior Technical Advisor, watching live from Netherlands. Esteemed members of the stage party, graduating students, respected parents and guardians, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Good Midak. Greetings of peace and blessings to all. It is a pleasure to be here, indeed, a majestic atmosphere with the presence of so many amazing, eminent persons. I am pleased and excited to welcome all of you to this prestigious seventh convocation ceremony. It is also with immense pleasure that I express my most profound congratulations to the graduating cohorts, our newest members of the alumni. Cherished graduates, today is the culmination of a challenging and exceptionally worthwhile venture to be awarded a degree or diploma from NMUC entails dedicated endeavor as you graduates not only did earn a transcript, but through the years at our university, you have also grown in your emotional and social development in building a character of a true profession. It is heartwarming to witness the joy and pride on your faces and the expression of everyone who has given you both financial and emotional assistance throughout your exploration here. Some of our guests have traveled thousands of miles across the sea and exclusive economic zones, the oldest tropical rainforest and international boundaries to celebrate this momentous occasion with you. To everyone, amazing parents, including the organizers and the NMUC team who facilitated to make this convention possible, please join me in thanking them all. To achieve great things, we must not only act but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. My beloved late father, Haji Yaakob, said that there are two ways you can get through the pain. You can let it destroy you, or you can use it as fuel to drive you, to dream bigger, work harder. Find a group of people who challenge and inspire you. Spend a lot of time with them 
and it will change your life forever. Those words had impacted NMUC as we continue striving, learning, creating the intellectual footprint with all that is worthy. You alone cannot change the world, but you can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Education, as we know, it is the passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Take hold of the future, or the future will take hold of you. The vast possibilities of our great future will become realities only if we make ourselves responsible for that future. Triumph seems to be connected with action. Effective people keep moving. They make mistakes, but they don't quit. The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Successful people do what the futile are not willing to do. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. We at NMUC are constantly working towards finding new avenues for our graduates to solidify their mark as learned and able maritime practitioners. And we look forward to offering more. We have laid good foundations for industrial prosperity, and now we want to measure to assure the growth of the workforce through enhanced technical and vocational education and training led by our Dato Dr. Ash. Our trip to Dalian Maritime University a few weeks ago showcased China's extraordinary strength in research capabilities and technology in the various maritime fields that we can craft under TVET programs. Discussions are underway for a transformational approach that we can leapfrog development in this TVET capacity for NMUC that will benefit the industry. Our leadership center will also be more proactive in supporting the maritime-related corporations to excel more effectively. Before we acquire great knowledge and power, we must acquire understanding to use them well. Wisdom is knowing what to do next. Skill is knowing how to do it. Virtue is doing it. We have managed to be where we are now because of the wonderful work done by so many outstanding associates, proactive partners, and incredible personnel who are with us. The NMUC vessel has sailed across the sea of challenges on a voyage of discovery for more of the new world in various forms that will surely come our way. Not only are we seeking new landscapes, but acquiring new eyes in technology to see beyond. Beloved graduates, in a noble pursuit of knowledge, NMUC has had the privilege of housing exceptional educators, individuals, who have dedicated themselves passionately to guiding your growth and development. Your lecturers have been instrumental in molding your abilities and unlocking your boundless potential. Today, as you celebrate your accomplishments, remember that they share in your joy, knowing they have been integral to your academic journey. 
the lessons you have gained within these classrooms extend beyond textbooks. They are reflected in the relationship you have cultivated, the challenges you have overcome, and the invaluable guidance granted by your lecturers. I would like to invite all of you, cherished graduates and respected lecturers, to kindly stand up and face each other. Can you please? Graduates and lecturers, to kindly stand up if you can. To the graduates, look earnestly at the faces of your noble gurus who had taught, mentored, counseled, coached, motivated, and guided you. Your undertakings as students are a lasting testament to the educational legacy they have so passionately cultivated. Please show them your gratitude and appreciation. The treasured lecturers can please sit down. The admirable graduates can remain standing. Yeah? Please now face your beloved parents and guardians. Kindly gaze at the adorable faces of these wonderful beings who have touched your lives with a deep gratitude and in-depthness. Some have nurtured, fostered, and raise you from young, and some had given their life for you, having you as the center of their universe. Some shed tears to water the seeds of your future happiness for years. For some, you will never forget them in your life, but a commitment they have given beyond ordinary expectations for having sacrificed and contributed your achievement in graduating today, please give them the appreciation they deserve. A round of applause for them, please. Thank you all. Please be seated. In the end, it is not the years in your life that count. It is the life in your years. You will face many defeats in life, but never let yourself be defeated. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year. For the extraordinary, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. The good news is that the moment you decide that what you know is more important than what you have been taught to believe, you will have shifted gears in your quest for abundance. Success comes from within, not from without. Wise men put their trust in ideas and not in circumstances. You are a remarkable group of people with astounding knowledge that live in a world that demands you. We are extremely proud of all of our alumni and eagerly await and rejoice in the news of their achievements wherever they are. Congratulations once again. And thank you for Bilahi Tafiq Wal Hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob. Terima kasih, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage our guest of honor, 
Yang berbahagia, Datuk Kapten Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz to deliver his speech. Majlis dengan penuh takzimnya menjemput Yang berbahagia, Datuk Kapten Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz selaku tetamu kehormat untuk menyampaikan ucapan. Dipersilakan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera semua. Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob, Founder and Executive Chairman of the Netherlands Maritime University College. The Netherlands Maritime University College Board of Directors. Professor Dr. Muhammad Nur Hayati Tahe, President and Chief Executive of the Netherlands Maritime University College. Distinguished guests, respected parents and graduates. It is an honor and privilege for me to be part of the momentous celebration of your graduations. Since we have gone through the necessary academic rigor to reach the academic achievement of diploma awarding and degree conferment, let me convey my heartfelt gratitude for the tribute of officiating the opening ceremony for the commemoration of NMC's seventh convocation. It is indeed a distinctive pleasure as today is also a special day for the university's leadership and management to demonstrate commitment to the students and resources entrusted to this institution. It is also heartwarming to see the map. It is also heartwarming to see how the university's governance units have collaborated to help graduates cross the finish line undeterred by numerous stumbling blocks. I applaud the university's chairman, Rose Chancellor, Chief Executive, University Senate and Management, the Council, and the Student Council on their collaborative efforts to make today's occasion a reality. Allow me to also acknowledge the contributions of parents and guardians in supporting the graduates throughout their academic expedition, as it is a challenging adventure even for the family of the students. When things do not go your way, remember that every challenge, every adversity contains within it the seeds of opportunity and you have surpassed that perplexing phase and demonstrated to yourself and others that you, that you are capable of accomplishing achievements despite every hurdle. Dear all distinguished graduates, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, government policies emphasize the necessity of education. Education is one instrument that can improve people's lives. Many people utilize it as a bridge to improve themselves, their families, and their communities. I would like to commend NMUC's efforts in providing opportunities for students to advance their studies by creating a fully unique curriculum that is precisely aligned with the requirements of the society. It is a revolutionary approach to teaching and learning integration that prioritizes the discovery of new knowledge. Knowledge and education are something you are going to possess for the rest of your life. The skills and knowledge you gain at NM NMUC will stay with you forever, positively impacting your lives and giving you the ability to change the trajectory of your life's path. The great physicist Albert Einstein once said, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Change can be frightening, but it can also be extremely beneficial. With this in mind, shifting into new moments of life became more pliable and fun, and you should fully embrace it. We would only be driven to our absolute limits with change, putting our perseverance, determination, and character to the test. Change will stretch, will bend, and twist you in ways you never imagined that are possible. Change has the potential to put your emotional willpower and mental resilience to the test. It has the power to form, to mold, and to shape you. Malaysia has made enormous strides in the last decade to increase upward social mobility as it tries to become a developed nation. Given that 75% of Malaysia is urban, having a dependable transport system is very critical. It is vital to keep in mind that a decent transport system has the most apparent and significant impact 
on the socio-economic picture of a nation that is developing. The transportation industry, which encompasses railroads, roads, water and air transportation systems, is possibly one of the world's largest in terms of revenue, labor and resource utilization. The transport industry subsector includes maritime transportation, aviation and highway building and maintenance, according to Malaysian Investment Development Authority, that's MIDA. Malaysia's foreign trade relies heavily on maritime transit, particularly for liquid and dry bulk commodities, dry brake bulk, and containerized cargoes. Approximately 90% of the country's trade is transported by ship, with Malaysian vessels carrying approximately 37% of its maritime trade. In order to maintain its competitiveness in the region, Malaysia, an ever-expanding catchment base in ASEAN, is reviewing strategic initiatives for improving and broadening its ports. Higher technology adoption results in more sustainable outcomes, such as greener ports or terminals, the use of low-carbon fuels, and predictive indications that can minimize error and cut time. At KASI Malaysia Senior and Berhad, we are committed in working together with the local industry players, aiming to provide a consistently world-class quality of service wherever we operate, as we have gained extensive experience in port consultancy, marine technologies, and port infrastructure, and have shifted our focus to the provision of technical services since the year 2000. With our 44 years of experience, we plan on continuing to expand on our success in the maritime industry by diversifying into the provision of specialty consultation services, such as ship handling simulation. Ladies and gentlemen, Ending my speech, let me share a few advice to the graduates here. Consider yourself successful as you graduate today since your university has prepared you effectively and you have an advantageous starting point. Determine your own goal while identifying the exact measures and strategies that you need to do. You control your own fate. Do not expect anyone to offer you any favors. Along with that, I would like to honor your tireless dedication and efforts, which culminated in the pinnacle of your achievement. When a chapter of your life book is complete, your spirit knows it's time to turn the page, so a new chapter will begin. Even when you are scared or think that you are not ready, your spirit knows you are. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write. They will be those who cannot learn, cannot unlearn, and relearn. Once again, graduates, congratulations and very good wishes in shaping your future. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Ibu Bahagia, Datuk Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz. Terima kasih yang berbahagia Datuk Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the NMUC TVET video presentation prepared by the media unit of NMUC. Hadirin sekalian, sama-sama kita saksikan sebuah persembahan video TVET NMUC yang telah disediakan oleh unit media NMUC.
nation for a digital future. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have come to the highlight of today's event. Please welcome on stage Professor Technologies Haji Tomingan Haji Kamarun, the Head of Academic of the Netherlands Maritime University College, to introduce the graduates of Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health. Hadirin yang dihormati, kita telah pun tiba di kemuncak acara bagi majlis ini. Dengan segala hormatnya menjemput Profesor Teknologis Haji Tomingan Haji Kamarun selaku Ketua Akademik NMUC untuk memperkenalkan para graduan. Dipersilakan. I have the honor of calling Yang Berbahagia Profesor Dato Captain Razali Yakob Executive Chairman, Netherlands Maritime University College, to present the diploma to the graduate. I hereby confer the diplomas to the graduates of Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health. Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health Abdul Aziz bin Ahmad Rushdi Abdul Qayyum bin Norizan Adam Wafik bin Rosli Ahmad Faris Lutfi Imran bin Cik Khairul Azmi Ahmad Mukri Akif bin Ahmad Hasbullah Aida Amalia binti Abdul Muhammad Rahimi Ainun Afikah binti Azman Alexandra Sebang bin Helbert Alistair Anak Philip Akilah Ihtisha Kasrina binti Muhammad Hisham Ara Vinton anak lelaki Mohan Aslina binti Musa Abioni P. Mondorusun
Daniel Tan Yong Wei. Dayang Lili Marliza binti Abdullah. Dinesh anak lelaki Baskaran. Divya Darsini, anak perempuan Sakti Kumar. Edward, anak Sibat. Ellie Norelis, Binti Azli. Eliana, Binti Amil Hamza. Zati binti Shaiful Ami Izani Hadzi bin Andy Farah Lisa binti Munawan. Fried Steve Jokiri. Haifa binti Zakaria. Herbie Satri binti Herman. Hilwa binti Muhammad Sayil Kudri. Husnul Khatimah binti Abdullah. Intan Nur Shazalia binti Jusni. Thank you yang berbahagia Profesor Datuk Kapten Razali Yaakob. I have the honor now. Uh, following Yang Barbagia, Dato' Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz, to present the diploma to the graduate. Ipofena Easter Roger. Joy Norman with Idris.
Khairul Ikhwan bin Abdul Syam. Khairun Naziha Aini binti Masuki. Kugenatan anak lelaki Gopinatan. Lukman Hakim bin Zaidi. Mary Ubong Di. Marilyn Anak Jampang. Muhammad Azrul Afwan bin Muhammad Azwan. Muhammad Irfan bin Suhaimi. Muhammad Nazrul Amirul bin Aznawi. Muhammad Hairul Haikal bin Rostam. Muhammad Shafiq bin Abdul Karim. Muhammad Firdaus bin Mat Hussein. Muhammad Adam Izzuddin bin Husof Elias Azman. Muhammad Afiq Haikal bin Zahawari. Muhammad Afiq Iqbal bin Sharif. Muhammad Akimi Zuraimi bin Ramlan. Muhammad Akmal bin Muhammad Nazri. Muhammad Alif Daniel bin Ramli. Muhammad Amar Aiman bin Mala. Muhammad Amar Asfa bin Mazri. Muhammad Arif Daniel bin Abdul Rahman. Muhammad Ashraf bin Hamzah. Muhammad Ashraf bin Marzuki.
Muhammad Denis Tam bin Muhammad Rizal Tam. Muhammad Faris bin Biamin. Muhammad Fikri bin Zainuddin. Muhammad Haikal Iskadar bin Anwar. Dan Muhammad Hamizat bin Sabli. Terima kasih yang berbahagia Datuk Kapten Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz. I now have the honor of calling Professor Dr. Ian Mcney to present the diploma to the graduate. Muhammad Haris Majdi bin Azman. Muhammad Hashim bin Khairuddin Muhammad Iqbal bin Jalaluddin Muhammad Irf bin Nur Hishamso Muhammad Mikalif Rashdan bin Abdul Musta Muhammad Mirza Razik bin Muhammad Zailani Muhammad Muazzim Shah bin Shahrul Anwar Muhammad Nazrul Naib bin Yusri Muhammad Nur Izzuddin bin Ibrahim Muhammad Yuzi Daniel bin Rohaizan Muhammad Zafran bin Zaid Nabila binti Othman Naim Zuhair bin Muhammad Fauzi Najmi Irfan bin Norizam Nur Fahmi Zakwan bin Esa Nur Amalia Irnida binti Rasid
Dr. Iqbal Ali bin Muhammad Shab. Nur IQ Dasmil bin Khairul Anwar. Nur Raihan Suaida binti Muhammad Ali Tarmizi. Nur Shahada binti Ahmad. Nur Sharafana binti Muhammad Yunus. Nur Zulaika binti Sanusi. Nur Aini Najia binti Abdul Mukmin. Nurin Amanina binti Khairuddin. Nur Laila Amira binti Sujat. Nur Liana binti Hamza. Nur Mahashikin binti Muhammad Zaid. Nur Shafika binti Ra'ayulid. Nur Shahira binti Jamil. Nurul Almi Amira binti Awang. Thank you, Professor Dr. Ian McKenney. I now have the honor of calling Professor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos to present the diploma to the graduate. Nurul Ashikin Binti Salib. Nurul Ashikin Abdullah. <coughs> Nurul Azmina Irdina binti Mat Idris. Nurul Balkis binti Ahmad Nabar. Nurul Isma Atasha binti Ismail. Nurul Iza Nabila binti Abdul Rahman.
Nurul Najiha binti Zainal Abidin. Nurul Syafiqah binti Rajali. Poldrick Enggat anak Nabi. Puba Nedred anak lelaki Ananten. Rachel Marcela Arti Raja Sri Devi anak perempuan Purugan Rasni anak perempuan Selvaraj Razwan bin Anwar Ronald Alexander anak lelaki Francis Shahrul Rizwan bin Ali Ahmad Syahreza Irfani binti Syed Iskandar Sharon Marcus Ngau Sean Ang Hee Shuan Sheikh Azmi bin Sheikh Alauddin Siti Aisyah binti Mustafa Siti Aisyah binti Andalala Siti Aisyah binti Muhammad Nasir Siti Nurmasita binti Muhammad Anwar Siti Nur Shafika binti Aziz Siti Nur Alisha binti Muhammad Rosli Suhaimi bin Rosli Shaima binti Rosli Shakir Zufairi bin Zamri Sinkletika Marais Tong Wei Chong Salwa binti Muhammad Sahir
Wildo Jonathan Wedi Robin. Wesley Bajing Anak Cendang Zahin Afnan Bin Zawawi Zulkefli Bin Ishaq Dan Muhammad Imran Adib bin Ramlan. Terima kasih Profesor Dr. Nikitas Nikitakos. Thank you Professor Technologies Haji Tomingan Haji Kamarun. The Head of Academic, Netherlands Maritime University College. Terima kasih, Professor Technologies Haji Tomingan Haji Kamarun, Ketua Academic and MUC. Ladies and gentlemen, let's enjoy the singing performance by the NMUC students from the Art and Cultural Club entitled Hero and Standing in the Eyes of the World. Hadirin yang dihormati, bersama-sama kita saksikan sebuah persembahan daripada mahasiswa Klub Seni dan Kebudayaan NMUC dengan lagu yang bertajuk Hero dan Standing in the Eyes of the World. Dipersilakan. Then a hero comes along 
comes along with the strength to carry on and you cast your fear aside and you know you can survive so when you feel like hope is gone look inside you and be strong and you'll find a see the truth that a hero lies in you Terpaksa dihadapi demi kejayaan Terdetik sejak mula cabah berusaha Tanpa cuba melangkah tak ke mana Di mana kau berada pencapaian tak tiba dengan mudah Kini standing in the eyes of the world Hanyalah selangkah dari nyata Keazaman membara di jiwa Menanti saat bebas merdeka Tiba masa kau melangkah gagal Semangat ke arah matlamat sedang Ya upaya Engkau terunggu Wajar standing in the eyes of the world <Sing> Harapan yang pernah Terkulai layu Kembali segar mekar Bawa bayanganmu Setiap manusia ingin berjaya Namun tak semua miliki tua Engkau menghampirinya Kesempatan telah pun tiba Everybody, he is standing in the eyes of the world. Hanyalah selangkah dari nyata keazaman membara di jiwa menanti saat bebas merdeka tiba masa. Kau melangkah gagah Bersemangat ke arah matlamat Sedaya upaya Engkau terunggu Wajar standing in the eyes of the world Standing in the eyes 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 of the world Standing in the eyes Standing in the eyes Hey. Standing in the eyes, 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 standing in the eyes of the world. Come on, come on! Standing in the eyes, 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 standing in the eyes of the world. Standing in the eyes, standing in the eyes. Standing in the eyes, standing in the eyes of the world. Standing in the eyes, standing in the eyes, standing in the eyes, standing.
thing in the eyes of the world. Thank you, dear students, for the lovely performance. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada kumpulan pelajar daripada Kelab Seni dan Kebudayaan NMUC. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks. It's a presentation of the Best Student Award. This award is presented to recognize the outstanding academic achievements of our student in the Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health Program. The recipient will receive Ringgit Malaysia 1000 and a trophy. We would like to call upon Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob to present the award. Hadirin sekalian, anugerah ini disampaikan untuk mengiktiraf pencapaian terbaik akademik pelajar yang cemerlang. Penerima akan memperoleh wang sebanyak rm ringgit Malaysia dan sebuah trofi. Majlis dengan ini ingin menjemput yang berbahagia Profesor Datuk Kapten Razali Yaakob untuk menyampaikan anugerah. Dipersilakan. The recipient of the 2023 NMUC Best Student Award for Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health is Ummu Salwa binti Muhammad Sahir. Thank you, in Rabahagia, Professor Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob. Terima kasih, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Datuk Captain Razali Yaakob. Ladies and gentlemen, next is the Aziz Academic Excellence Award. The recipient of this award will receive Ringgit Malaysia 1000 and a trophy. We would like to call upon Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz to present the award. Hadirin sekalian, penerima bagi anugerah ini akan memperoleh wang sebanyak rm ringgit Malaysia beserta sebuah trofi. Majlis ingin menjemput Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz untuk menyampaikan anugerah. Dipersilakan. The recipient of the 2023 Aziz Academy Excellent Award is Muhammad Ama Aiman bin Mala of Diploma in Maritime Occupational Safety and Health. Thank you, Ibrahim Bahagia, Datuk Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz. Terima kasih, Yang Berbahagia, Datuk Captain Abdul Rahim Abdul Aziz. Dear respected guests, we would like to invite Muhammad Kazarif bin Tairul Zaman from Bachelor in Maritime and Logistics with Honours, the recipient of the Yakub Best Overall Student Award to deliver his speech. For your information, this award acknowledges the outstanding achievement of our student in both academics and curriculum activities. 
The award was presented during the first session of the convocation ceremony. Hadirin yang dihormati, untuk pengetahuan hadirin, anugerah ini adalah untuk menghargai pencapaian terbaik pelajar di NMUC dalam bidang akademik dan juga kurikulum. Anugerah ini telah pun disampaikan semasa sesi pertama majlis convocation ini. Mari kita dengarkan ucapan daripada penerima anugerah pelajar terbaik keseluruhan iaitu Muhammad Khazarif bin Khairuzaman daripada program A Bachelor in Maritime and Logistics with Honours. Dipersilakan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, everyone. First off, I would like to bid my congratulations to all of my fellow graduates here today as your persistence and efforts has finally paid off. I am grateful to have been surrounded with supportive family members, lecturers, and friends who have been together with me throughout this journey. Personally, the past four years of studying here for both my diploma and bachelor's has been a period of my life where time flew by faster than it actually felt. I understand now what it means when people say time flies faster when you are enjoying the good times. Initially, it was never in my plans to be studying here. The opportunity to study here was presented to me without me myself putting too much thought into it after finishing high school. I'm sure my fellow graduates may know about this phase of uncertainty after finishing high school. But I'm glad to have made such a decision, as studying here has allowed me to, for me to grow and be where I am today. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me throughout my educational journey through both thick and thin. I am where I am today because of you. My thanks go to the lecturers as well for your knowledge and guidance during this journey. I could do the mention I could do the honorable men sorry I could do the honor of mentioning a few lecturers for their extra efforts but that wouldn't do justice as all of the lecturers here have shown great effort in nurturing their students and I thank you again for that lastly I would like to thank my fellow classmates as well thank you Sophia for your strict yet much needed approach during assignments and managing events as it made a lot of things possible Yad and Chazwini for sharing stories that made sessions outside of classes enjoyable. I hope you all continue to succeed in your careers. Before I end my speech, I would like to give some advice to both parents and fellow graduates. Dearest parents, coming from a fellow graduate myself, please show your support to your sons and daughters when it comes to landing their first careers to the best of your abilities. If they already have plans on what they want to do next, guide them in making their plans a reality. While if they don't have any plans yet, continue to show your support to them mentally. Either way, have faith and patience to allow us graduates to transition to this new phase of life. Fellow graduates, uncertainty is an obstacle that we will be facing throughout our lives. There are times when you are not able to see the road that's ahead of you from here. Whatever happens, keep moving ahead and continue to wrestle with that feeling of uncertainty. You faced plenty of uncertainties before, and you still turned out fine despite the odds. And you will come out fine again in your next uncertainty. As a fellow friend from my diploma days once said to me, sometimes unplanned plans can turn out to be the best plans. The door may be closing on your current studying journey, but another door is currently opening for your next one. What that next journey is up to you for you to determine. And so, here's to, new here's to new beginnings. Thank you. Congratulations to Muhammad Kazarif bin Khairuzaman. May his dedication and commitment become the inspiration to all students in NMUC. Sekali lagi, tahniah diucapkan kepada Muhammad Khazarif bin Eruzaman. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to watch another performance 
by the NMUC Art and Cultural Club with a song entitled One Moment in Time. Hadirin sekalian, sekali lagi kita akan menyaksikan sebuah persembahan daripada Klub Seni dan Kebudayaan NMUC dengan lagu yang bertajuk One Moment in Time. Dipersilakan. Each day I live, I want to be a day to give the best of me. I'm only one, but not alone. My finest day is yet unknown. I broke my heart for every gain. To taste the sweet Oh, I face the pain My rise and fall Yet yeah, through it all This much remains I want one moment in time When I'm more than I thought I could be When I When all of my dreams are far been away And the answers are all up to me Give me one moment in time When I'm racing with destiny Destiny
Nak lagi tak? Nak lagi? Betul? Confirm? Kalau macam tu saya nak semua berdiri boleh? Boleh tak? Terima kasih. Steady, steady. Come on, come on, come on guys. Come on guys. Hari ni nak happy happy. Tak nak stress stress. Come on guys, come on guys. Happy guys. Berdiri, berdiri, berdiri. Come on, come on. Come on semua sebelah sini, come on. Okay, semua. Saya nak semua tepuk tangan boleh? Sebelah sini. Tengah kata, tengah kata boleh? Yeah. We will, we will rock you. Boleh sebelah sini. Lagi sekali. We will, we will rock you. Come on. Okay, sini pula. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Nice, nice. Sporting, sporting. Teruskan tepuk. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big mess someday. You got mud on your face, big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. So we will, we will rock you. Tak dengar lah. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're a young man, hard man, shouting in the street, gonna take on the world someday. You got blood on your face, big disgrace. Waving your banner all over the place. We, we will, we will, will rock, rock you. you. Come on. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're the old man, poor man, pretty with your eyes. Gonna make you some peace someday. You got mud on your face. Big disgrace. Somebody better put your band to your place. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. And we will, we will rock you. Last, last. We will, we will rock you. Terima kasih semua. Thank you. Thank you, dear students, for such an amazing and energetic performance. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada kumpulan pelajar itu tadi suatu persembahan yang agak menarik dan penuh bertenaga. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of the 7th Netherlands Maritime University College Convocation Ceremony. We would like to invite the Chief Executive of NMUC, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Matnur Haiti Tahir, to announce the adjournment of the Convocation Ceremony. Hadirin yang dihormati, Majlis Convocation NMUC yang ketujuh ini telah pun sampai ke penghujungnya. Oleh itu, majlis ingin menjemput Ketua Eksekutif NMUC yang berbahagia Prof. Dr. Mat Norahiyati Tahir untuk mengumumkan penangguhan majlis convocation pada hari ini. Dipersilakan. Ladies and gentlemen, the 7th Netherlands Maritime University College Convocation Ceremony is hereby adjourned. It's my honor to announce that all the graduates today are the alumni of NMUC. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Prof. 
Saya Dr. Mat Nur Hayati Tahir. Terima kasih yang berbahagia, Profesor Dr. Mat Nur Hayati Tahir. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as the grand procession now exit the hall. Hadirin sekalian, perarakan utama akan meninggalkan Dewan. Hadirin, dimohon berdiri. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the NMUC Convocation Ceremony. You may be dismissed. To all academic members and graduates, please remain in the hall for the photography session. To all graduates, wishing you all the best for your future undertakings.